Hi guys, Melissa here from Cloud Mom. I'm answering a question today from Amber, who's written in on Facebook. Here's her question. Just wondering if you have any tips on kids sharing a room. I have a 15 week old and a two and a two and a half year old. Both kids obviously on very different bedtimes and schedules and we only have two bedrooms. Should the baby stay with us until he is sleeping similarly to the toddler? Thanks. Great question. This is such a big issue, especially for people who live in the city, who have a small house or small apartment. They've only got two rooms. New baby comes into the house sort of wreaking havoc on everybody. What is the best way to work this out? So for this reason and for convenience and because a lot of people really like to co-sleep, many people keep the newborn baby in their room for quite a long time, either having the baby sleep in their bed with them or having the baby in a pack and play or having the baby in a bassinet. I did not do this because my husband is an extremely light sleeper and I wanted him to be fresh and somewhat helpful in the morning. Just kidding, honey. And I myself would be woken up by every single little cooing noise, breathing noise, and I found that I was just absolutely exhausted. So I always had my babies sleeping in the baby's room, which was the room that's right next to my bedroom, which I'm in right now, which is now my girl's room. Okay, I was lucky. We did have another bedroom where I was moving my older kids. So I had three boys and I would have one kid in that bedroom, the baby here. Then that baby would get old enough to move into the bedroom. He would move into the bedroom. Then the third boy got old enough to move into that bedroom. He moved in that bedroom. And I did have the luxury of having this baby's room that I could use to take care of the baby so that he wouldn't be waking anybody up until he was on a pretty good schedule of going to bed at around the same time and waking up at around the same time. What do you do if you don't have that extra third bedroom, which a lot of people are in that situation? Here's what I recommend. If it doesn't make sense for you to keep the baby in your room, have the baby share the room with your toddler, but bring out of that room everything you need in order to feed and take care of that baby during the nighttime hours. For example, diapers, your nursing chair, burping cloths, everything you need to do to change the baby and try to set up a station somewhere such as in your living room where you can take care of that. So when that happens, if you have the two children together in the room, the baby's waking up at night, you can kind of get in there, whisk the baby out, have your time, feed the baby, burp the baby, take care of the baby, and then put the baby back to sleep. Now, I was in this situation quite frequently and it always shocked me how my older child would not wake up. I don't know whether your kid is a light sleeper or not, but frequently that older child will not wake up. Once the baby is sleeping through the night, you're in a much easier situation because you can put those two children down to sleep together, such as I did with kids that ranged in age by about three years, and that worked out fine, which is about the age gap that you have, by the way. And then I tried to coordinate naps. And the way that I did this is I would have the younger baby in there for the morning nap. And then I would try to do an early afternoon nap. And I would have the younger baby in there with the toddler or the toddlers for the afternoon nap. Once I had three kids napping at once, that was a beautiful thing. <laughs> anyway, none of this is easy, but you can figure it out. Just think it through. Think through what makes the most sense for you based on the type of sleepers that you are and your toddler. I hope that this advice has been helpful to you. Thank you so much for writing into Cloud Mom. I am so grateful. Best of luck with your new baby, and I will see you next time on Cloud Mom.